When you are taking notes or creating documents, it's really important to have your resources and research materials immediately to hand. When you spend time searching for and retrieving materials, this can lead to a loss of focus. Your train of thought that you've worked hard to build can disappear. And by the time you've found what you've been looking for, you find yourself asking that famous question, what was I doing again? That's why Hook works well with note-taking applications, and Craft is one of our favourites. As it's user-friendly, it integrates with other apps and services, and has long-supported bi-directional linking and backlinks. Now here I have a very small list of documents in a Craft setup, and I'm just going to open one to show how Hook and Craft work together. Now I'll double-click this Pomodoro Technique one, and here is just a short document that I'm starting to create on the Pomodoro Technique. Now I'm going to need to link to some resource materials for this to help build it. Now to do this, I'll invoke Hook using the keyboard shortcut, and the name of the craft document appears. And from here, I'll click on the title menu, or I could press Ctrl and T to show it, and I'll select Copy Link. Now this puts the link to this document in my Max clipboard, ready to hook or attach to another resource, be it a file, web page, email. There is a huge array of file types that we can link together. I'm going to switch across to Safari and I have a Wikipedia article open that will provide a lot of the research material I need. So I'll invoke Hook again, bring up my title menu and select Hook to copied link. Now rather than search for this web page or for the craft document file, I can simply invoke Hook and we can see the craft document has been hooked to this page. So I'll press return and I'm taken back to it. If the file was closed, then it would be opened. In fact, Craft doesn't even need to be running. And then, as the link is bi-directional, I'll invoke Hook again. And there is the web resource. I'll press Return. And we're back to the page once more. OK, let's navigate back to the Craft document. And now I'm going to hook it to some other resources that I may need to look at. So I'll just confirm it's still on the clipboard. I'll invoke Hook. And this time I'll just press Command and C to copy it. And it's much quicker. Now I'll switch across to Finder where I have a folder and three files. Now I could hook the craft document to the folder if I wish, or I can hook it to the individual files, which I will do here. I'll select Pomodoro apps. I'll just press space to confirm it's the file that I want. Yep, there are some good Pomodoro timer applications in there. So I'll invoke hook. You can see the name of the file is correct. And this time I press command and V to paste the link. And now I'm gonna rinse and repeat that for the other files. So Pomodoro notes, I'll invoke hook then Command V to paste. And then finally, we have the timer image file. I'll invoke hook once more and Command V again. Now, if I come back up here to the craft documents and invoke hook, I can use the arrow keys and navigate to any of these hooked files and open them by pressing return. So that's the first way that we can use hook with craft to minimize friction in research and studying. The next way that we can copy links in Craft and attach to resources via Hook is by using the deep linking that's built into Craft itself. Now the method that we've just shown will link Craft documents to resources, but you can go deeper and hook individual Craft blocks. So to do this, I'll just open another document. Let's go for this chocolate brownie recipe. And we can see that this is a standard document. There's lots of sub pages here and individual blocks. And to demonstrate the deep linking, I'm just going to highlight and select a block. Let's go for steps here. With my cursor blinking away, I'm going to head up to File. And from here, I can either copy this deep link or a markdown version of the deep link. So I'll go for the standard one. And now we paste it to another resource in the same way as we did earlier. It's just that it's not the link to the document that's being copied. It's the link to the block within the document. So I'll jump across to Finder where I have a pages document here that will have some notes in there. And if I want to link this directly to the steps section of my craft document, I'll invoke hook, press command and V. Now in the background, I'm just going to scroll the craft document up so that the steps section is no longer in view. And I'll invoke hook and there is the hooked block. I'll press return and we can see that we're taken to the steps block. So as your craft documents grow, you can use Hook to take you to individual blocks via the resources that you want to use. Now one good practice that you may wish to adopt if you start deep linking a lot of craft blocks is renaming them. Now the default name is kind of unwieldy and tough to recognize. So to do this, I'll invoke Hook and we can see the hooked block here. 
Now I'll open up the menu that's next to it and select rename. And now here I can rename the link to something that is a lot more user friendly. And now as the number of blocks that I have builds, I'm not going to be confused and create more friction when I'm trying to navigate my craft documents.